What's up, people? We back with a. This is update number eleven of the Ultimate Legends roster. As you can see, this is Lenny Wilkins, known a lot for being a one of the greatest head coaches of all time, but was also a Hall of Fame player. 71-72 season, 18 points a game, 9.6 assists, 46% field goal percentage, and he was 34 years old. So, but the 46% from field from the field is what actually made me pick that year because that was actually i believe one of the highest or was around the highest that he shot from the field he also had the assist numbers and the scoring and he was he's known as one of the best defensive point guards in the history of the game so there you go um now we had a lot of uh with the last episode had grant hill and tracy mcgrady in it had a lot of talk about you know the whole situation with the ratings you guys got to remember with 2k15 you can't really pay as much attention to the overall you got to look at the actual ratings of the 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 the, the, you know, the 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 really big time ratings which is why i just flipped through this and pretty much every episode going forward i'm going to actually show you the ratings you got to think about which you know you know if we're talking about a guard a wing player a post player whatever which statistics when you play the game makes the guy a standout player so you you might be looking at the overalls and thinking oh this is kind of low but the way that 2k15 works this year the way their whole ratings are set up and i'm saying this because i've had multiple extensive conversations with mike stauffer who is the man he is the ratings guy for nba 2k15 so i know how this game works from a rating standpoint i've put together this scale somewhat or so to speak based off of the statistics from that particular season and nothing's an exact science but i think that it's pretty accurate and when i play the game with the players that i've created it's these guys the guys who are supposed to be really really good are really really good this is Ronnie cycli miami heat fame this is the 91 92 season version i created here 16 and a half sell on 16 and a half points 11.8 rebounds 1.5 blocks he was 26 years old Cycli was one of actually one of my favorite players in college like I thought he was like I remember you know I was real I was little I was younger or whatever but um when he played uh at Syracuse but I something I you know he was one of the better players in the nation that year I believe it was like 87 or something like that and I just thought like man this dude is like I didn't know as much about the game or whatever at the time but I just thought like man this dude is a uh, is a beast down low. I remember he it was Derek Coleman was on that team. Um, it was a you know they were a good team. They lost in the national championship to the Indiana Hoosiers though on Keith Smart's clutch jump shot on the baseline. So uh, and that team had like Steve Alford. So they at talent wise they weren't supposed to beat Syracuse but they did. So that was that. But I always like Cycli. Cycli had a really good uh, career too. You know he he's not he's not a Hall of Famer or anything like that. But he had a good solid career. And in the 90s, I would say he was one of the, what, probably top seven to ten centers in the NBA. I don't think that's a crazy statement. So you take a look at his uh, at his numbers. Now, one thing I, I will say about my ratings is that it seems like big men might get a little bit higher rating because of the rebounding and, you know, matching that up. But I'll let you guys in on something. I took a player from – I took three players. I took, like, a, a small guard. Uh, a wing player and a big and those their statistics their real life statistics is, was kind of one of my scales so this is big ben now the biggest thing missing here is the headband because we can't do headbands it's hard to make it come off but if you look at that right there i think that looks pretty good this is the 0102 season, 7.6 rebound uh, points per game, 13 rebounds, three and a half blocks, 27 years old. The year after this, he actually averaged 15 rebounds a game. But I picked this version of Wallace because he had shot a higher percentage from the field, which of course then affects how I rate their shooting numbers. Um, the block shots were a little bit higher, so of course there's that. And the 13 rebounds, 15 rebounds, he was still going to get in the 90s pretty much on like almost all of the rebound numbers. So. I didn't think like that was something I, I thought this, that shooting better made it that year a little bit better for him. I mean, he's not going to be great. You saw the, the shooting numbers that I gave him. So he's not going to be an offensive guy anyway. But he was uh, somebody that was uh, more than likely going to finish with a slam close to the basket. So I gave him some love on that, being able to slam and uh, finish, uh, you know, finishing uh, even 
with guys around him finish. So he got some love that, but of course that free throw shooting is terrible. So if he gets fouled, you, uh, the, uh, hey, it's gonna be it's gonna be one. So also they won't allow you to make guys like more a little bit more muscular. So this Ben Wallace is a little too thin. The other thing he's also missing, with in addition to a headband, is around his biceps he wore these like wristbands or whatever. I don't know what they were, but it was some kind of armbands he wore. Well, you can't put armbands on guys in 2K15. It's another little accessory that's missing, but a lot of people don't wear it this this in you know in this day and age, this era. So you know we don't miss it as much. But Wallace warm and a few other guys warm, and they're missing. So that was that. So uh, we mentioned talked about throwing, showing gameplay. Uh, so I showed it in the last one, the Grand Hill, Tracy McGrady. Um, I don't even remember the other person that was in it. Just show you they was the ones that was really every uh, Alex English. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay here. You see the little pregame. Check it out. Game plan in that win. They knew exactly how to exploit the defense, and they really got on a nice roll. And exploit them they did. See, they were relentless. They kept so much pressure on the defenders over the course of that game. So here's Miami's strike. Wade outside. Here's A-Train. Detroit with the rebound. The Detroit Pistons, a proud franchise, of course, from 03 to 08, 6 to the Eastern Conference Finals, and Clark in 2004, the NBA title. But the rebuild process has Brand. had its hiccups, Hill. Kevin, its speed bumps, if you will, some questions. It's Hill on the way. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, the Miami Heat, Hill. since the big three assembled, have been a polarizing team. So fans rooted for them, others rooted against them. Either way, they've been an incredible story for the league and have become just a, a huge draw around. It's underdog. Now, here's Wade. He had 25 points in the win against Brooklyn. Yeah, Kevin, he really set up shop at that foul line. I mean, they could not do anything with him defensively, and so they had to keep fouling. Here's Jennings. But he They'd like to be able, though, looking ahead to keep that next star is wearing the magic uniform right now. Wilkins, here's Sigma, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, but he pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark, wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> so it's Orlando now. The Thunder making the shot. The shot by Peyton, no good. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Yeah, he put himself in lightning, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, the pass was even better. I mean, he put it on an absolute platter for him. That's good. Beautiful cut to the hoop. He's getting. It's Wilkins on the wing. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Wilkins has got his first bucket in this one. Goes up off the pitch. Power down with both hands. Flush that thing down, young fella. That is a fierce <laughs> two-hander. Man, maximum force on that dunk.